Hi everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bet you don't know where the name America really came from. We were all taught in school, I was I know, that the name America came from the Italian explorer Amerigo Vespucci. There is now argument put forth by British writer Peter MacDonald that America was named for a Welch merchant, Richard America, who gave a large amount of money to John Cabot's 15th century voyage to the New World. Cabot sailed from Bristol, England, which was also America's home and business headquarters too. America donated large oak trees from his estate to build Cabot's ships and provided Cabot's family with a home while the explorer sailed west. In exchange for his generosity, America requested that Cabot name any newly discovered lands for him. Now you can find more on his theory at www.bbc.co.uk forward, uh, forward slash history forward slash discovery forward slash, forward slash uh, exploration forward slash America name dot um, America name space o one dot s h t m l. If you need that address again, just give me a call or email me Beth Scribble at aol dot com. On the list of interesting things to know, you hear people say all the time, you know, I was going to buy that, but Lord have mercy, it cost an arm and a leg. Well, in George Washington's day, there were no cameras. One's image was either sculpted or painted. Some paintings of Washington showed him standing behind a desk with one arm behind his back, while others showed both arms and both legs. Prices charged by painters were not based on how many people were to be painted, but how many limbs were to be painted. Arms and legs are limbs. Therefore, painting them would cost the buyer more. Hence the expression, it will cost you an arm and a leg. Okay. And here are some laws of genealogy, which if they were not, uh, if they weren't so true, they would be really funny. And in searching for your family, you'll find all of these things and more. The public ceremony in which your distinguished ancestor participated and at which the platform collapsed under him turned out to be a public hanging. My goodness. When at last, after much hard work, you have solved the family mystery that you've worked on for the last five years, your auntie says, Oh, that? I could have told you that. Why didn't you ask me? Your search for a decade for your great-grandmother's maiden name, only to find it in a letter in a box in the attic that you have gone through a dozen times. You never ask your father about his family when he was alive because you just weren't interested in genealogy back then. You finally discover the location of the will that you need, oh goody, and it's in the safe aboard the Titanic. Copies of old newspapers with articles concerning your family have holes occurring only on surnames. John, son of Thomas, the immigrant whom your relatives claim is the family progenitor, died on board ship at the age of eight. Oh my. Your great-grandfather's newspaper obituary states that he died unmarried with no issue. Another genealogist has just insulted the keeper of the vital record you need so desperately. The relative who had all of the family photographs gave them all to her daughter, who has absolutely no interest in genealogy and is not inclined to share. The only record you find for your great-grandfather is that his property was sold at a sheriff's sale of insolvency. The one document that would supply the missing link to your dead end line has been lost due to a fire or a flood or even for, of, because of war. 
The town clerk to whom you wrote for information sends you a long handwritten letter which is totally illegible. The spelling of your European ancestor's name bears no relation to its current spelling or pronunciation. None of the photographs in your recently deceased grandmother's photo album have names written on them except for a few given names that are, you know, illegible. Nobody in your entire family ever did anything noteworthy, owned any property, was sued, or was named in a will. I've done genealogy all of my life, and yes, every single one of those things has happened to me. Thank you so much. Join us again next time.